Now this one, the extension housing bushing was in good shape, so I don't need to replace it. But if you were going to replace it, you can look down in here, and there's a little slot. So you could start uh, your uh, punch or cold chisel, start right in that little slot there, and hammer the, your way through, and that'll distort the uh, bushing and knock it on through out the other side. And then just simply take your new bushing. Uh, many of them will have a little slot in it, and that slot should line up with that uh, little low place or that void that's at, oh, about, I'll say, the 7 o'clock position on the extension housing. If you have a regular bushing driver, uh, you know, just hammer it down flush. Or if you have one of those universal ones, that'll work fine. After you hammer it down, uh, a lot of times it'll, the edge will kind of get burred a little bit. So you'll need a round file to clean that up or a pocket knife. Then just to make sure everything's okay, run your slip yoke down through it. If it goes down, you know, without any interference, then your bushing went in good. And lastly, we'll put the uh, seal on. Now, as a little tip, I think it's a good idea to put uh, uh, a little bit of, you can use wheel bearing grease, I use uh, petroleum jelly, down inside the seal where that garter spring is. Because a lot of times when you're hammering you know, the seals on, all that vibration will knock that uh, little garter spring out. By putting a little bit of Vaseline jelly on it, it'll keep that from happening. Now we'll just hammer it into place here. There you go.